Oh, what is going on, guys? It's Cyberhorn92 here. I'm here with who? Jeremiah Jose. And what did you do at the Vegas Regional? Uh, we actually bubbled out of top 24. We got 25th with uh, 60 card Jarchon Voiceless. Oh, dang. It's okay. Hey, at least you told me you won six locals and not playing any snake cast. You're crazy. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. Uh, and you're playing 60 card pile, right? 6 card virtual pile. Yo, that that's insane. I, I respect that. Uh, before I get into the deck report, do you want to give any shout outs, by the way? Uh, I want to give a shout out to my boys, Team Genesis, back in the house. Heck yeah. Um, I also want to uh, give a shout out to my girl. Um, she lets me play. How to, she lets me um, play this game, so you know. Heck yeah. She lets me go out to these events and you know trust her. Heck yeah, that's really nice of her. Yep. Let's go for the deck profile. So right start off are. with the the Drytron names. You know, we want to set it all good. Triple Alpha. Triple Zeta, Double Gamma, Double Delta, and I play this just the fact that this Biz steals and cross uh, and crow out. We play the Beta. Beta literally just shuffles these um, back into the graveyard if they get banished. Then we play the Drake Grenade, obviously, Oats King. The best package of the deck Triple Ben 10, uh, one Natasha. Natasha steals games all the time. It's also a time card. Ben 10, it searches my other engine, which is broken. The one orange light. Ooh, a nice ulti. Ulti always. You yeah, gotta max out your favorite deck. <laughs> Everyone has their own pet deck, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Best engine in the, the deck. Triple low. We play double Sephira. The reason why is because I only play the 2-1. Um, the and I only play two ritual spells in the deck, so it does. It's all good. Once it's resolved, then you're finally good. The funny part is in this deck is that this guy he searches any dragon or uh, warrior ritual monster. So we also play the more factor pain. What this does, it's a skill drain on legs, and also it's good against ten pie because it skips my opponent's main phase one. So they have to go straight into battle phase, and mostly that deck is uh, you want them to kill you. Dang. Okay. Okay. Then the voices trap, the voices uh, spell and traps. The one trap, one barrier, one um, ritual spell. You only play one because it's not really uh, dry trunk, or it's not really voices dry trunk, it's dry trunk <laughs> voiceless. Then this is the uh, searcher spells. We play two where art thou's. So where art thou is really good because every everything in my deck is level ones. And the funny part, it does search low. So if you have not normal summon, you can just activate this and then search low for free and then just go off after that. Uh, one field spell with the triple Nova. Uh, it's e Telly of the deck. And then we're playing the uh, triple emergency, triple pot for consistency wise with the foolish. And then the one ritual spell. This is most of my uh, non-engine. Oh, actually, sorry. We do have the uh, three prep as well. Prep's really good because you could uh, send Sephira to the grave, dump your ritual spell, and then activate this just to search to just to add the ritual spell you just dumped. So it's really good in the crack back. Uh, non-engine three crossouts. Insane. Then we got the crossout target, the droll, ash, ogre, nib. Literally all the hand traps that that hinders this deck. But we have the cross out for them. How many times did you draw this within 60 car pile? <laughs> uh, the funny part is that if you open any of these, it's mm -hmm. a interruption on my opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. But I mostly see, for some reason, I see the Ash more than the three, which Yo, is more than the crazy. four. That's crazy. Because Ash is super uh, generic, and oh, yeah. we always want to see generic cards. Oh, yeah. Ash is a good hand trap. Then we also played the Instant Fusion and the Call By. Instant Fusion is broken because. In the extra deck, we do play the Millennium Eyes. So you just Millennium Eyes and then you could uh, play around any hand trap. It's also a level one extender because I could just make it into my uh, Xyz. Then we play the triple droplets with the double ta uh, talent. Oh yeah, pretty that good makes card. 60. Okay. Will you change anything about your build at all? You uh, at the is? moment, the only thing I would change is probably the uh, beta. The beta uh, was just a tech card because I wanted a name, another name. But this could be either a third talent or I want to play a, um, 
another like cross out target because I did get uh, Mourner, Valor, or Be uh, Bell as well. So it could be another cross out target. For sure. Side extra up to you. Uh, extra deck. Mm -hmm. The one Millennium Eyes are strict. We do play the two uh, Mubeta Fafnirs, the Heart and Soul of the deck. It Foolish Barrels, any Drytron, and I can use its uh, materials as a, uh, a virtual summon. Best card of the deck, Fuko. It's a uh, out to 10 pie, can't be destroyed, it's unaffected. Down to Zeus. Then our links, we play the Link 4s, Appaloosa, Boil Sword. Appaloosa is really good because you could just Natasha everything and then you just link all their pieces for, um, for Apple. Then we play the 1 IP Double Dynamondo for combos. One Herald of Mirage Light. And then SP, we do play the, Z uh, the Zelia. Azalea is really good because it's just a free pop. I was playing Phoenix at one point, but I wanted a card to like pop anything instead of just the um, spell and traps. True. And then we play the one and uh, Anima. Mm. Yeah, will you change anything about the uh, extra deck or do you like the way how Not it is? really. I, I really like this extra deck a lot. Yeah. And then side deck, we play... It's a six card deck, so we want to see consistency. So we do play the Thrusts. Insane card. Yep, Thrust is really good. Uh, then we play the Thrust Targets, one Herald of Abyss because I was scared of Purely. Sadly, I didn't play against Purely, but this this was pretty good. One Change of Heart, and then we do play the DDG. This is also another theory. The reason why I play DDG is because I have the uh, the guy that shuffles back uh, Banish mm -hmm. into my grave, so I can just recy recycle him. And then one D-Barrier, two um, Dark Ruler, two Evenly. Uh, three Eclipse. Three Eclipse is really good. This format. And then I was scared of the new stuff that just came out of this set. Mm -hmm. uh, the the, the recent set. The um, Infernoids and uh, Ritual Beasts. Mm -hmm. So I did play. I did side the one Ooh. Lantic because it is searchable. And How it's QCR, so it's really pretty. Heck yeah. How many times did you draw that today? Or um, I it? searched it against a uh, Infernoid uh, Snake Eyes player. Mm -hmm. And then um, it literally just shut him down for the whole <laughs> turn because they can't summon from Grave. Dang. And that's then that's crazy. pretty much it. 60 cards. Heck yeah, dude. That's pretty cool. Uh, you want to say any last comments? or? Yeah, I just want to um, say thanks again to my, my team. I want to say thanks again to my girl. And I also want to say thanks to everybody at the locals um, uh, rooting for me and hoping that I'll be good at that. Heck yeah, don't worry, there'll be other time. But yeah, thanks for the deck profile. Your boy, Serpentor92, is signing now. Peace.